Hello, beautiful souls. I am going to give you the third way today, and I am wearing pink in honor of the archangel that it's associated with. So the third ray of creative intelligence is associated with Archangel Shamiel. And he is usually depicted in pink with a heart of gold. So let's dig in. Archangel Shamiel mission is to help bring peace to the world. You can call on him when you're suffering from anxiety, struggling in relationships, or having a hard time forgiving someone. Shamuel helps you and us deal with difficult times and gives us courage when we feel defeated and alone. His images often depict the pink color and the heart of gold since he focuses on peaceful relationships. Some believe Archangel Shamuel as patron saint for all who have gone through relationship trauma, like a divorce, people working for world peace, and those searching for items that they lost. The third ray of creative intelligence brings the gift of practical spirituality and develops a talent for grounding. Inspire creativity into the world. It empowers your manifestation. This ray brings many gifts. If you are one that struggles with grounding, you can ask Archangel Shamuel to help you in grounding. This ray brings gifts such as new ideas, practical support needed to bring them to life, the ability to organize and make connections and network to synthesize information from various sources into a single whole source. Archangel Chemuel helps you receive this gift from the universe with love and intelligence. So you know, as it, as it arrives in your vortex, this is for you. This is for you to use. This is to help you in birthing and creating this this next project we as a population struggle in receiving gifts we, re we in receiving blessings um, the mind manipulation that we go through as part of the narrative that we grow up in and through through the education system through what our parents taught us because they didn't know any better um it it actually creates a a being that is weak then we have to deal with our ego and the ego will try to invert true benevolent blessings into making you feel manipulated or shameful or unworthy. Therefore, a being must heal that place and quiet the ego to really fully receive the blessings you're meant to receive. The third ray of creative intelligence will help you gain practicality to organize and manifest an idea or vision in the world. It gives you the drive and the means to implement your plans. You may hear that and think, me? I'm supposed to be doing something? Yeah, you. And yes, me. All of us that raised our hand, volunteered to come down here. We created this phenomenal Yes, phenomenal soul contract admission life life stream. And when you go through the, the shadow work, when you go through the healing and you go through the ev evolution of your soul, you then step onto the path that brings you to manifest all this goodness for whatever dimension you happen to be in at the time. We volunteered to come here. It's time for us to step into that and keep our promise. When this ray is active in our lives, we want to take action. We want to bring something to life, not just to know or feel it, but to do it. With this oracle comes a message about taking action and believing that even the most inspired and spiritual ideas can be practical and in purpose for a greater world. Your visions and ideas can and should be worked with so that they can manifest. You must believe in your capability and competence, your confidence and practical down to earth common sense, even if these are not your strongest qualities. So you're being invited to develop this. You're being invited to realize and remember your true abilities, your true gifts. What do you have to offer? Not what other people say you don't have to offer. What do you truly have within your being? What have you not 
tapped into. If you doubt your ability to achieve all that you dream of, remember that sometimes the universe puts dreams in our hearts to help us develop strengths that are dormant within us. This is where faith comes in. The egoic mind will tell you horrible things like, who do you think you are? And this isn't for people like you. This is for, for people better than you. If you hear things like that, that is your ego and you need to shut your ego up. The time for the ego is over with. Done. Benito. You want the ego to be quiet because the ego feeds doubts and the ego feeds fear and the ego feeds low vibration feeling. In that, when you're able to do that, when you're able to quiet the ego, your light gets really, really bright because you're stepping into your power. When you're not quieting your ego, your ego is keeping you dim and full of doubt and full of fear. And no, you do not need your ego to live. That is a misconception for sure. This can bring life to a whole slew of abilities and talents we didn't know we had. We are given nudges in life to discover what we are made of, which can be so much more than what we were initially believed to be true. Because being in our earthly life, arriving with amnesia, we have to navigate our way back to who and what we are. And that is this now moment. That is this time. So it's your journey to wholeness, right? So before you make that journey back to who and what you truly are, you're only a fractal of the being you are. You're only a fractal of the amount of power that you are. So if you're already feeling very powerful, imagine how much good you could do for the, the world as you step into your divine gifts and use that power. The challenge with this ray is to take it one step at a time and allow the universe to help you find the patience and sense of humor that it will help to stick with the process of creation. Do not try to do too much at once. That is a matrix concept. And the type A, A, A personalities want to get it done quickly and they want to be perfect about it. And there is no perfection. There is process and there is progression. There's no perfection. And the more that you try to force something ahead of schedule, the more resistance you're going to find because you're not going with the flow. So that in itself is a hurdle. Once you allow your project to start to have life, don't allow it to become too complicated. The list makers, overachievers will struggle here. Above all, do not give up before you have finally brought your inner light to life in the world. We don't come this far to only come this far. Archangel Chamuel brings the gift of reclaiming lost energy, ideas, and talents that can help you fulfill your divine potential. This Archangel helps you reawaken talents from this or other lifetimes that may have been cast aside. This too is shown to me in visions and dreams. As we awaken, our dreams show us glimpses of lifetimes. Now, when we have dreams, we ask, is this a vision of a parallel time or a memory of a past life? Nine times out of 10, your dream is showing you one of those two scenarios. If this is a vision of a parallel life, this is happening now. And it may be unfathomable because of your limitations put on your human brain, but it is not unfathomable in the higher dimensions. And memories of past lives can be brought into your knowing to help you understand who you have been in other incarnations to tap back into that power. Or it could be something that you need to heal. One of the two. 
so when this occurs, when you have dreams and, and you wake up with the memory of them, first of all, that's a gift because most don't wake up with the memory of their dreams or they don't have enough of the dream to be able to pro process it and heal from it. So if you do, it's a gift. Definitely want to give gratitude for that. And then ask your higher self, is this something I need to heal from? Is this something I need to know more about? Is this something I just need to LFG? Archangel Chamuel is perhaps your intuitive healer. His energy was to put aside, pull into your knowing things that you had left behind. I have encountered many wonderful souls in this life that have a really, really hard time connecting to their higher self, to receive their messages um, and their abilities. They're born with abilities. And the reason for that is because of events that took place in prior incarnations where uh, negative events took place and they blamed themselves in part or whole due to their abilities, due to their participation and in the event. And it, they, they bound their abilities prior to coming into this life. So they have to heal that in a major way in order to unbound what is rightfully theirs so that they can access it again. Perhaps your intuitive healing energy was to put one side as you studied and tended to your family responsibilities. Perhaps your business sense or your ability to market yourself in a soulful and loving way is yet to be discovered. Maybe the ability to teach at a clear, confident voice of a writer is within you, waiting to be developed. This archangel will help you find and apply with loving confidence whatever talents and abilities are required to turn your aspirations into manifestations. This may be something your ego is telling you that can't happen. And that's, again, what the ego does. The ego is really not your cheerleader unless it's to do something that's that's going to benefit the ego. Um, so truth is that your ego has no freaking clue what your past life experiences are, what your past wisdom is, things that we have uh, um, accomplished in prior incarnations that will help you in this now moment. We have all journeyed to where we need to be in the now moment. You're exactly where you're supposed to be right now. The work that needs to be done is realizing that a lot of what you have been in prior lives is already within you. You just need to accept it and tap into it with the forethought, with the wisdom to go forward, to go forward beyond whatever fears associated with past life events, because that is no longer your reality. When you quiet your ego, you can truly tap into your higher self wisdom, which is the culmination of all your life streams. You can receive specific guidance from the ascendant masters, from source creator, from your archangels, from Archangel Shamuel. When you have the ego being the loudest voice that you hear, that other stuff is blocked out. It's blocked out. As this ray has a special connection with businesses, you are asked to remain open to learning and growing through financial success. This ray can help the tension that may be felt between spirituality and financial abundance. It helps to recognize, this is important. It helps to recognize that the spirit feels joy in successful physical world endeavors, particularly those that serve love. I'm gonna read that again. The spirit feels joy in successful physical world endeavors, particularly those that serve love. When a situation is a win-win for all involved, there is no reason at all to hold back from material success. It can be celebrated and enjoyed whilst maintaining the true motivation for the work, which is love. I love that. 
When you're ready and a soul level to invoke Archangel Chamiel's gifts, recite the following invocation. You can say, I accept if you're ready now. Invocation of the third ray of creative intelligence. I, Andalusia, queen of royal gifts, and <clears throat> I now accept of my own free will the blessing and grace of the third ray of creative intelligence. I thank the universe for all assistance in turning my spiritual aspirations into successful practices, real world manifestations of light, grace, love and empowerment i gratefully receive the unconditional loving intervention of archangel chamuel to recover and express all talents and abilities meant to manifest my divine dreams i ask that in unconditional love this ray be made available to all who can benefit from it according to the divine mission mercy and compassion for the greatest good of all so be it I definitely invite you to violetlotusenergy.com. Check out our services. If you would like further activations and to really dig into connecting to your divine spirit team, the first thing you do is order up a QET session to clear your energy. And that way, the manifestations that you want to pull into your being are clear and concise. The distortions are removed and you can quiet the ego. Take care. <laughs>